Hey folks, Rich Sadler, Chapter Director of Glacier Kennedy Insider Circle, North Florida, here with another, another few tips. Today we're going to talk about how to take notes effectively. Uh, this is a no-brainer. Most people go, well, wait a minute, I know how to take notes, but do you really know how to do it effectively? What I mean by this is most people will go ahead and put on a sheet the, the notes that they're going to take from the seminar, the workshop, the boot camp, whatever they're attending. Uh, or even just a simple meeting. And I highly suggest that, obviously. Go ahead and take all the notes that you need. Next to that, you're going to want to put how that particular piece of information or that data applies to your business. Or if you're a sales professional, how does it apply to you in that profession? But here's another key that most people leave out. Take those two notes, those two style of notes, absolutely. But make sure you also take a third set of notes, maybe at the bottom of your form. And that is, if you're at a seminar or workshop or a boot camp, as I referred to, then you're going to want to take notes on what they're doing in the boot camp. What are the seminar promoters or the speaker doing? Where are they standing on stage? When, do the, when does the music bed come up and go down? When do, when do they start their presentation? At what point? Do they lay little groundwork along the way? Do they do trial closes? All those type of things will go a lot further in your business when you have a, a business where you may want to do presentations, even if it's not in front of a large crowd. You can still use these tidbits because, believe me, if they're a successful promoter or a speaker, they studied this craft so uh, make sure you take those kind of notes as well and you'll you'll find that your business has a lot more sustainability in the long run. Rich Sadler here, Glazier Kennedy Insider Circle Chapter Director. See you next time.